I decline to indulge in dishonesty. Sorry. All right, here we are back again on the ranch of Bunkers Dan. And um, that was fun. And now it's Patty Rothberg, the very world renowned. Everybody loves you, Patty. Everybody loves Patty Rothberg. It's like amazing. It's like your list is, is infinite. Well, I love a lot of people too. A lot. Well, it's it's reciprocal because I'm telling you, whenever I say your name, freaking lightning bolts come out of people's eyes. That really? Oops. <laughs> there it was going that down. Was fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, so now tell me, my love, what do you need to talk about today? Okay, well, first of all, um, last night my friend Frederick, this is all about thanks. Her. This is about thanks and Thanksgiving coming up. Wait, Anthony. Gratitude. Is my attitude. Anyway, um. Your attitude? Gratitude is my gratitude. Gratitude is your And attitude. I went to see my friend Frederick. Thank you, Frederick. He um, introduced me to the Tom Tom Club, first of all. But second of all, he took me to see Bob Dylan for the first time last night. And I last night? Can you see this? Um, we'll make sure. Yes, yes, yes. This is the Bob Dylan jacket that I painted in 1988. Now, how old was he in that painting? He was probably, he was a lot younger than I am now. Was he, so last night, where did you see him? Ten. Did he use a projector for his work? Um, I love that about Bob Dylan. I don't know. I didn't see any projector. But he did a good job, like, hiding. He usually it. has, um, I mean, I think I, it's a brilliant idea, but, like, really, he didn't need it. Could you understand them? I don't know, he has so many um, very lyrical songs that I have no idea how he ever would remember them. So yeah, projector or teleprompter would be yeah, nice yeah, 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 yeah. So, so how was he? He was really, it was cool. He, what was he wearing? <laughs> what was he wearing? Well, first of all, he had a, a hat on that was kind of like this, except the rim was so big, he could have served some hors d'oeuvres on it. Really? It was like enormous. So could you see his face? <laughs> Um, I couldn't personally. Where was, was it? Sitting. Where was it? Um, it was at Terminal 5. Oh, everybody's playing Terminal 5 these days. Yeah, that's I like, guess they are. That's the swanky spot right now. It was a pretty hip kind of place. You know, we met some nice people in the audience, and um, I just, I have so many things to All right, say your list. This is the day of lists. Okay, because like, you get 15 minutes, you were talking about Superman before, and I was yeah. thinking about like, does Lois Lane get, I mean, does Margot Kidder get the 15 minutes before she was Lois Lane, or does she forever get to be the like, psycho bitch that was on the lawn, throwing her clothes everywhere? You know I can I mean? see you be, do you like Lois Lane? Sure. I, I, you have a Lois Especially Lane look. Especially if Superman is cute. Wow, this is a funny theme show, man. It's always like that. Why? Why, do you, do you prefer that? Or is for what? Jewish? Um, actually, I have no preference whatsoever. So why did you say? I was just kidding. Oh, okay. I'm usually just kidding. I'm so gullible that it doesn't matter. I believe everything and nothing that everybody says. Well, I was just thinking about there was this young kid. He was probably about 15 years old, standing next to me at the Bob Dylan show, and he was saying, "Oh, I'll always think of him as Bobby Zimmerman." Bobby, not Bobby. And I'm like, what do you mean you'll always think of him as Bobby Zimmerman? You're like, you weren't even born when he changed his name to Bobby Zimmerman. Neither were we. When he were any of us. So what? Okay. So you know, he's the last, he's, he's still spoken it out, that Mr. Dillon. I, I know, and, and the thing is he connected with people because there was stuff going on it. that people, he, he was talking about something that's really bad that was going on. So like people what? People connected, like war, you okay. know. So I had this on. idea. You always blame some war somewhere. I mean. It's true, there's always a war there. there. Is. But um, my idea was that they would have in the future a masses of war. Oh, maybe, wait, 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 sorry to interrupt you again okay, and again and again. But maybe, you trying to say maybe the ten Bobby minutes Zimmerman, minutes. Zimmerman, maybe Bobby Zimmerman I give up. is Superman. I would He's not, Jewish! I would, be, um, but I, I would not be surprised. Right? He's a Jewish? Yeah, he's a Jewish. He's like, yeah, exactly. He's got an alter ego. Interesting theme going on. All right, what's on your list, guys? I'm just trying to figure out who Spider-Man would be in that one. Spider-Man, um, Spider-Man, we'll figure it out. Peter Parker, he's got to be. Uh, oh, this is so confusing, uh, I can't next? even what's think next? straight anymore. Come on, Patty, rock star. Okay, well, hmm. I thought that, you know how people misread lyrics, like uh, um, war pig, people think that Ozzy is like, yeah, war, war is great. He's actually saying war is bad, I think, is my opinion. So, and my opinion is always right, anyone who reads my Facebook page. Yes, it is. So I was thinking they could have um, kids, like this kid who was standing next to me at the Bob Dylan show, he was like, Bobby Zimmerman, Bobby Zimmerman. 
he could be working in a Houstonian factory. Because they, they, Bob Dylan did play Masters of War, and it's my belief that he was saying war is not good. So they should have the PMRC, okay. But like, um, what was her name? Gore. Leslie? No, not Leslie Gore. This is another lovable Gore. Tipper. Tipper. She, she wrote me one. Really, what did she write about? She was really nice. She was a drummer, you know. That's amazing. She was a drummer in a band. Maybe that's why she can't hear any lyrics. Maybe so. Maybe. She wrote me. She was really nice, actually. Okay, well, I think that's good. I'm not saying that this is a bad lady. But today is the day that the NRA was founded in New York City many, many, many years ago, speaking about war. Like, who would have thought that the NRA originated in New York? Um, now, those people, you think they hate war? Um, you know what? They probably just want to, like, have the right to shoot a chicken on their own yard. That is very New York. All right. Maybe when it was grasslands and not skyscrapers. Oh. Ah, my daughter is so smart. My daughter is over here being the peanut gallery, and she just knows everything. And she loves Bob Dylan, too. All right, back to your list. Okay, so my whole point is that as a punishment, this is like a game show idea, that as a punishment for wrongly misinterpreting lyrics like War Pig from Ozzy, you must personally create jobs dismantling bombs. So you would have like Ozzy and a panel of people who write the song, Say, no, no, darling, that's not what I meant at all. And then Tipper and her friends would have to be, they would have to create jobs dismantling bombs. This Wait, is the whole like point cut, the, cut the green one? Cut what green one? The wire? wire. Why would you cut a green wire? Well, you're dismantling a bomb, aren't you? Like flipping, I, I mean, how do you watch well, Mission Impossible? Well, I don't know Impossible? how to build a bomb nor dismantle one. So. It's always cut the, cut the, cut the wire, like you're, you're Cross your fingers and you're cutting the right one, and in every movie they always cut the right wire, don't they? Did they ever cut the wrong wire and it goes kaboom? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's it. Game over. Game over. I never see that happen. Okay, so I'm going to change the subject now. Okay, that was really next, complicated. This is really uncomplicated. Um, I recently had some miracles happen to me on good on my or what do you call it Facebook. Um, Lily Alexander is somebody that I've been listening to all summer and even now I just like always have him on my walk, my walk. Lily Alexander. My iPod. And um, he, he said that he has my album. He listened to my album. Lily? Willie Alexander. Willie. 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 Alright, Willie Boom Boom Alexander, let's go check him out. If that can See, happen, anything I told can you, happen. everybody's a fan of yours, Patty Rothberg. I literally you don't realize, <laughs> you don't realize how many people freaking love you. Well, I freaking love you. I'll, yeah, but it's about you right now, and okay. Okay. take the compliment. Okay. Um, she's <laughs> amazing. Wait till you hear her play. I mean, her songs, like yours, speak to me. Like, thank you. How many times? How many times? You got it. You're right. Go on your list. Okay, I wanted to do. I wanted to finish my finish thought. your list. So there's Lily Alexander, who actually, who I was listening to obsessively, who then contacted me. Now remember, remember, it's Willie, not Lily. Willie Boom Boom Alexander. Willie. Willie. But then my friend Jurgen Munster. Oh, I love Jurgen. Jurgen. Uh, hi, by the way. I love, love Jurgen. Jurgen, if you're watching, we love slut donkeys. you. Slut donkeys. I am a slut and a donkey, so I love you. Wait, you are? I'm actually, I'm a, I'm a donkey of. of Sluts. Oh, she has to. Repeat. I love sluts and I love donkeys. Now, what do you yeah. love most about sluts? Um, the thing I love the most about sluts is their honesty. They okay. are just—they are who they are. And what do you love most about donkeys? They um, are who they are. <laughs> that for whatever reason, I seem to just be repeatedly attracted to them over and over again. Which was that a reason that I know? I, I understand. Maybe because I'm so nurturing. I just want to take care of someone, and I wanted to complete my own bank account for somebody else. Uh, I love you, I don't Patty. Know. Oh, you get good songs out of it. Yeah, I exactly. Suppose. Great song. Yeah. yeah. What? Do you? Oh, That's well so done. sexy. I love you. Oh my god. That is the sexiest person to come on. Just straight ahead. That's like a very slutty thing to say, in the sense that you're straightforward. I want to deplete your bank account. Go away from me. This is a painting that I ran out of I the house before account. it was done. It's well, uh, supposed to be Pamela Anderson, but guys, see the thing is, when you when you do something half-assed and you don't finish, I'm familiar, then you don't get the picture. You don't get the proper image. You made that? I, I made that. But it could be a lot better if I had taken my time. No, don't say that. This is fabulous. 
I mean, I like it. How'd you cool. make it's it? Kind of Did you paint that? Out. I made. I painted it. So that's a painted bag. An this original is my painted, painted bag. bag. I, I sell these, you guys. Where can they yeah. buy them? Uh, you can go to either plrockford at gmail.com and send me an email. Hey, I saw you on Ruin Lou, uh -huh. and I want a painting of. Uh, Jurgen Munster on my Japan bag. So you can paint anybody anything. I'll paint anything. anybody anything on, on their surface. own thing. Reasonable. All right, all right. So you saw the jacket, right. the handbag. Anything else on your list? You ready to sing some songs? Um. Oh, there's so many more things on my list. Do I have some talking time? You can. Yeah. You're Patty uh, Rothberg. Awesome. Oh. Okay, so being that I've witnessed the miracle of Jurgen Munster and the miracle of Lily Alexander, that double miracle, um, I wanted to mention. <laughs> that I used to go around when I was like 15 and I was first learning the guitar. This is how I would meet cute guys. I'd be like, excuse me, do you know how to play the rain song? And nobody ever knew how to play it right. But if they were cute, I'd just be like, oh, that's great, thanks. And I just- Now were they just these that depleted your bank account? Some of them ended up being them. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. But anyway, so finally I just taught my damn self how to play the rain song and um, so since I know so that miracles happen with the internet, I wanted to say Jimmy Page, can you teach me the rain song? Ah, uh, Jimmy Page. But today is the day Freddie Mercury went to heaven on this date, November 24th. Freddy, What's your favorite Queen song? I'm um, immediately thinking Tenement Funster. Okay. I don't know. I have so many favorites. I love Under Pressure with Jamie Bowie. Yeah, that's a good one. Because it's such a beautiful, like, angsty song. And it's just like a great sentiment. So I love that song. It is. All right, we're going to be right back. Wait, is your list finished? Um, go to my uh, Patty Rothberg at uh, whatever it is, dot com or Facebook and send me it, and I'll, I'll read you the rest of the list. No, yeah, no, so no, no. You sure? Patty with an I or a Y? With an I. Rothberg with an E. All right, we'll be back, and you're going to hear her, and you're going to get blown the hell away. Woo! Patty Rothberg. Don't cut the green hair. Who and who? It has to be this way. Just know the streets be. 